Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome to a new series of videos. This one is tried and tested other creators patterns. So come on, let's go and see what pattern I chose from the box under the table that I've already made. Okay, so as my opening titles stated, it's a, a pattern from the box <laughs> under the table. Now the box under the table has quite a lot, if not all, of the patterns that I've previously made using other creators' videos, um, tutorial videos, and of course their written patterns. Now, or even something out of a book or a magazine. My theory behind this is that by me showing you all these different items, it may be ones that you hadn't seen me a show on YouTube already, or it may be ones that you hadn't even spotted yourself. So it's a nice way of introducing you to some patterns that I know I've tried and tested, and that I can honestly tell you whether I like it or whether I don't. Um, and also, I will tell you of any differences between the original pattern and the item and the item that I have made. Okay. So time for me to go under the table and pull out the first item. See you in half hour. No, I'm only playing. Editing's brew, isn't it? So, did you get shawl down last week or are you back for some more? Because guess what? Yeah, that's right. There's a few more shawls for me to show. <laughs> oh, it's bad, isn't it? Okay, the very first one up was a very early, early shawl for me to make. And this is such a shim simple shawl. And it's made with a mandala cake free crochet pattern. That's the name of it. And it's by a Wilhelmina Westenberg. Now I used, um, I think it was a papaya cake, which is basically a mandala, um, the Lime Brown mandala cake, but under a different label. And I believe the um, colorway was actually called Unicorn as well. So I'm just trying to find the top of this. Now, as I said, this is a really lovely, a really easy shawl to do. Na, na, na. Okay, so the majority of this one is, in fact, double crochet. So if you only really know how to chain and do a double crochet, that's US terms, then you will still be able to make this one, okay? It even comes with how to do tassels for the ends so if you really fancy trying something completely new if you haven't ever made a tassel you can of course make a tassel for this as well um so yeah this one didn't take me too long in the big scheme of things and back then and to be honest now i'd probably be able to knock this up in maybe two evenings if that new day new change of clothes right the uh, next i um, I wanted to show you I don't actually have any more it now lives in Australia with my mother-in-law who told me last night I used it because it's getting cold today <laughs> which was really really cool she said that to me yesterday right anyway the, I've got some a photo a photograph of it which I will put up now for you And the details on that shawl are, it's called How to Crochet the Pineapple a Peacock Shawl. It comes in part works. There is three sections to the, the video set. Okay, um, now I used Aldi DK and I chose to mix all those different colours together and I mucked around with it basically. 
Now I made that on a 3.5 millimeter hook. Absolutely loved the pattern. For when I did it within my crochet journey, there was um, there was a lot of frogging involved. <laughs> I'll put it like that. I wasn't overly confident with making really lacy shawls. But once I got into the swing of things and remembered to um, mark off the row I did as I completed it, um, I found it a lot, lot easier. Um, and it is an absolutely beautiful pattern that hopefully at some point I will revisit. The only drawback for me was because it was done with the 3.5mm and a DK weight hook, um, it was a bit shorter than what I would have liked. I think the model is another one of these. I'm only five foot five or six type girls. I'm five eight. I need longer. So I would really actually like to change this pattern around a little bit and add an extension to it to make it twice the size it was. And then it would be perfect. But you never know. Maybe later it's a case of sitting there and doing the math. I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, now the next pattern I was actually a tester for. So this pattern is available over on Ravelry. Of course, the link will be in the description box down below for this one. And it's by our cheeky Barbara. Now, her um, page is a whisper, whisper crochet. Okay, and the uh, pattern is called the Falling Leaves Fall Shawl. Now this was done again in manda mandala cakes or a rip-off version of it's the same yarn just a different label and if I remember rightly I used three but I did colour um, color control these and I believe I did it in a, a four millimetre hook. Okay so let's find the right way and the wrong way because there is. There we go. Okay, so uh, let's see if it, you're going to be able to see it nicely. <laughs> it's massive. Uh, this thing uh, reaches me. I've got a photograph, uh, reaches low. I've got a photograph that I'll pop on in a moment for you that shows it a lot better. Look at the design on that. It did take me a little while, but it's pretty much all a double crochets. It's just how you're placing them as to how it makes the pattern and of course the ridges that you can see there okay lovely lovely pattern it is available as i said over on ravelry and it's four euros 50 okay so that's approximately four pound and eight pence sorry can't tell you about it if if you're in other countries just have a look and <laughs> just click on the link it will take you over to ravelry and of course it will show you how much it's going to cost you in in your currency Now the next item is also from Barbara at Whisper Crochet and the pattern is also available over on Ravelry. It's priced up at four euros fifty, which again is about four pound and eight pence in UK money. <laughs> right, okay, I'm not the best at modeling <laughs> my own items. Again, you tell, but this is it here. Um, and it's a cow pattern, a cowl pattern I should say God, I can never get it pronounced correctly it means that basically this whole thing is all, all fitted together all in one as you work it it's got really a really beautiful oh I'm just gonna give up and take it off a really a beautiful intricate detailing there we go on the front there and a really pretty a little border that goes along with it and then of course you have the cowl section as well this was made with another one of them mandala cakes from a different supplier and for some reason they thought yellow would go really well with brown. I really wanted to strip it out but I wouldn't have had enough yarn um, so I didn't. So yeah I'm stuck with a yellow <laughs> topped section and a dodgy white bit that's covered up most of the time. Yeah so this was again done as instructed I think which yeah with a four millimeter hook and this is a one um, cake ball so I think that one's a really really nice and it wasn't actually that difficult to do and if you really liked the pattern here of course you could repeat the pattern a couple more times and have yourself another long shawl 
so that is that one and again the links to that will be in the description box down below okay so it's a nice short sharp episode this week because i don't want to run out of stuff and i realize the last two weeks i've been bombarding you haven't i with um new to you or possibly a new to you patterns um so i hope you enjoyed today i'm gonna head off now and think about what i'm putting in to the next episode of this one don't panic i haven't run out of stuff yet <laughs> right that is it for me for today i will see you all really really soon so please remember stay chilled stay happy and keep crafting goodbye everybody